find some more. Uh, our new comic book, Spawn Kills Everybody, is in the news today. Do a little bit of a Google. You'll see I got in a little bit of trouble with it today. But we're going to draw and see if we can't teach you some things that maybe uh, you haven't done in the past. So here's the first thing you have to do in comic books. You're drawing on a flat screen, flat piece of paper. Everything you're doing is in 2D. And you must try and create the illusion of 3D. Well, there's only one way of doing that. If you go back, the if you draw everything flat, it doesn't look like it's 3D. So what you need to do is you need to start learning how to create the illusion of things coming towards the camera or you or things going away from the camera or you. And so as you do those, it'll become perspective. So let's show you some basics on how you can get there and then we'll we'll go there real quickly. In its simplest form, if you think of some of the shapes, especially with the arms, and that's what we're going to talk about today, if you think about the arms, if you think about them as a cylinder, right? So this is the cylinder. Think about it as like that toilet roll. Remember when the, the toilet paper gets done at the end of the day? It's, it's a tube. This is just a tube. You can't see this part right here, right? I was just doing a dot like you could see through it, but there's your cylinder right there. If you have a couple of these cylinders, and this is applicable on the leg, we'll get to that another day. And you take a couple of these cylinders, you're going to see, you take one cylinder, it becomes the shoulder and the bicep, and you take another cylinder, and it becomes the forearm, and then eventually we'll have another drawing and structure where you get into the hands. But that's just sort of a, a square box, if you will. The one thing you'll notice is that there has to be a tapering here, right? So if I get a color, let's just go red here real quick. Uh, you don't want to make these things completely straight, so you want to have it so that the uh, Todd, hello, Mr. McFarland. Why isn't that working on me? I don't know why. All right, we're not going to draw it then. Anyway, you want to have it so it's taper in here. Basically, you don't want this to be the same height as that. Why? Because if you look at my own arm or your own arm, you're going to see you have way more meat and muscle up here than you do down here. You have way more muscle at the top of your shoulder than you do down at the at the bottom of here. So if this is one tube, thicker, a little bit thicker here, a little bit skinnier here, the next tube is here, a little bit thicker here, and then you go here. So if we go to, well, there's the red that you couldn't see. If we go here, we we'll keep that on. Let's just draw. So if we're if we're now gonna sort of show how you go away, just follow the rule. There are just some simple rules. Uh, that we need, oh, where's my, I can't draw, how come none of my stuff wants to draw, where's my drawing, right here, okay, I'm going to move that all the way up to the top, so you can get the drawing, don't know what's happening on my computer today, let's get rid of all of this, boom, mm. there we go, alright, so now we get back to our drawing, so we have a rule, we have a rule, and you must always follow it. If you're going away from the camera, and you have, you have your tubes, then this is what it's going to look like. You have your tube here, and then your tube is going to get sort of smaller, and it's going to be here, here's your tube here. And then you're going to have your next tube, and your next tube is going to go here, and then you're going to get smaller, and it's going to go here. And then you would have, let's say, your hand. So even your hand would be here, and it would go here. Here's, here's the thing that, that you have to pay attention to when you're doing it. And I'll go back to red here, as you can see. Is that whenever you're going away, you make sure that your starting lines go here, and then everything else goes under those. So don't go on top of those. You go under like this. Under, like this, under, like this, under, like this. So it's always under. Now, let's go to a new page. Uh, I'll blank this all out. Uh, we'll go to a black, which basically means in its simplest form, here's your shoulder, here's your bicep, here's your tricep, here's your elbow, here's your forearm, got some muscles on it, some more muscles, here's your wrist, and then eventually you're going to get to the hand and you're going to have the fingers and whatever else. We'll talk about the hands later. But if you notice, the shoulder is here, right? It's circle and then circle and then circle and then circle. 
but this one is always on top. These are always underneath. They have to get smaller and smaller and smaller as you go away, right? So this is the shoulder. And again, if I was now going to take this whole thing here, bring it back, whoop, bring it back and draw on it. Let me give you another color real quick. And I was actually going to do some real drawing then. So let's use red again. Then I would then go like this. Here would be the shoulder. Here would be the shoulder muscle. I'd put a little bit of veins in it. It would go up in here. Then I'd come up in here, and there would probably be the bicep divider right in here. And I'd come up in here. I'd probably put the elbow up in here. And this would all be sort of one piece. And you're going to get there very quickly. You're going to, you're going to get there. The opposite occurs. I'll give you another. I'll give you, let's do the opposite now. If we want to come now towards us, it has to be the opposite. So now let's start with somebody's got uh, a fist. So let's just make our quick big giant fist here, which is sort of easy to do here. Blah, blah, blah. Here's our thumb. And then here's going to be our fist. Boom, real quickly. So here's our fist that's coming at us. Now what we want to do is the opposite. So now the forearm is coming at me. So I want to make the forearm sort of as big as possible. Right? And then I'm going to make the bicep, and then I'm going to make the shoulder, like this. And as you can see, it's still the same thing. Whatever is the closest to you always is the one that's going to be the one that's on top, and everything else gets layered underneath it. So the forearm is now here, and here's your red circle. Here's this one, it's a red circle. Here's this one, it's the red circle. Because this would just go into the body. So here would be the chest up in here. And now, again, it's very crude because I know that ultimately if I was going to draw, the shoulder would be up in here. I'd have the bicep. The bicep would be up in here. I'd put some bicep lines and some muscles, maybe even put some triceps up in here. And then I'd have a little bit of the forearm up in here, maybe taper it a little bit so it's not quite as fat. And by the time I knock out some of these lines real quick, then I've got a little bit of a body and it looks like it's coming towards you, right? And again, because I haven't put a little bit, uh, you know, some of the muscle structure, I'm using big broad strokes. But then I would then come in here and I would finesse and I'd put some nice lines and I'd put, you know, some shadowing to make it look. But that's essentially that's it. As long as you make sure that, that let's go to a red line again, that as long as you make sure that this is on top and then this is underneath and underneath. You can keep doing this. You can keep making it smaller and smaller and smaller. It, it will get there, right? Because ultimately what you're doing is a vanishing point. We'll talk about that in another drawing. And this is how you do true perspectives. You take a vanishing point and you start drawing lines and everything has to be within those lines. So that's all I'm doing, right? Here's the forearm. Here's the bicep. Here's the tricep. It's all just following up up in all of this that's in here. So you can do that. Eventually we'll, you, the rules apply for legs. The legs are no different. If you're going to do a leg, then you'd come up in here. You do, here's the leg coming out here. And then there's the shin. And then here's sort of the ankle area. And then eventually you'd get to the foot. But again, this is the big part right here. Big sweep, big sweep, big sweep. And then you've got your foot up in here that would be ending it right here. And now again, I'm not putting the muscle structure, but those are the simple things. If you can follow this simple rule that that whatever's in front is always the bigger one and everything else goes underneath it, then you'll be able to start to learn how to do perspectives real fast. I'll show you how to do hand and perspective in the next drawing and then and then I'll show you the easy trick on how to do building. So anyways that's our drawing today. Thanks for joining us. We'll get more sexy next time.